What's up everybody? Peace good day for you guys. Welcome back to the Town Hall 12 where we have CWL day one. So now we have back to our seven days um of CWL. So Eden's edge of his Bearland and we are currently down right now um 64 to 48. But they, they, we are Masters 3 and the this is gonna be probably a very tough CWL I would say. Um we have the face of we have a ton of 14s uh, 13s and 12 mid ten, so it's probably gonna be a little bit rough for us to be like Masters 3 I would say going into Masters 3 is where you're gonna see more Town Hall 14s I would say um, But we will be watching a couple of these attacks as well. Why not? Because um, I opt out a little bit ago um, As well, and then we have we have a builder as well. We probably won't do much with this builder um, As well, we have to see what we do have but Nonetheless, going on to the end of the Town 12 Let's Play, we're going to have like a couple upgrades that we can do, um, as well as walls, because walls are going to be finishing up soon, and then we just basically have cannons, and then hero upgrades. That's like the last thing, which I really didn't want to have it as the last thing, but it will definitely be ending off soon as well, and then the laboratory upgrade, which is the goblin, and then the last dark Elixir upgrade, which will be our skeleton spell, I believe it only has one level. And then we have the two elixir spells, which should, they, they will be done. They will be done uh, for sure. You always want to finish up everything. But we do have a cannon upgrade here, 9 million, uh, 9 days, sorry. And we can do that. We'll do that at the end of the video. But I will just collect. Oh, that's only dark elixir. But we're going to go over uh, an attack here really quickly from Kratos. I haven't watched any of the silver attacks. So I'm going to show you. Um, we're, we're basically going to be diving, diving in. The same time as me as well because I haven't watched any of them. So this is the top 14 base and uh, not fully maxed I would say probably like defensive wise. Um not maxed walls either, a couple in the middle. But someone's gonna he's gonna come in with a clone bomb. So he has super dragons and um the dragon and the dragon raiders, which is actually very interesting. So he has a clone bomb and the point of a clone bomb is we win four clones and a raid. So he literally has no more spells. After the Four clones, he has no spells. So the part of the clone bomb is to like take out like a, a huge val amount of value. We have like the town hall is where you want to take out both scatters. Like that's like the value we'll be hoping for. So let's see what our boy Kratos um does in this one as well. So he's been going over from different accounts, I would say, to do his attack. So Let's see what he comes in with, though. He has the heroes to start. Okay, so he drops a balloon and a big dragon down at the bottom. Uh, right hand side to take out um, the workshop. And he does that. And does, basically does the same. So he's basically going like, to full send. And uh, that's the like, you hope on this army sometimes. It's like a basic full send. And none of the sweepers are really facing any of the troops. One is facing down. One is facing to like nowhere land. So he drops everything in. Pops one is built he's super early so the blimp can get in. And then you can see. So the point of the clone bomb is you don't want to stack your clones. So you can see uh, the initial drop. He dropped one over on the scatter. One on the eagle. One over on the clan castle side to the second scatter. And then one up. So the point of that is... You're going to be spreading out the clone. So the, a clone will be cloning a clone. If that makes sense. That's probably a big tongue, twi uh, tongue twister. But you know. Th the clones are going to be spread out. So it's going to be going over like a jump. So it's going to be like jumping from the ego. If you want to say for instance. And then to the over to the scatter. So you can see. And then he drops the red spell. But there's a ton of trap. But you can see they're spreading out now. So all of them do not die. To the poison bomb. Because the poison bomb is super lethal. And if you don't want to mess with the poison bomb. But you can see it has no spells. So no spells now is just basically brute force of the army. That's why this army is sometimes a little risky. Um, because you basically have no more spells. Um, you can't direct your troops anywhere with these spells. So like this army sometimes is super risky. But it can be done very easily as well. So he basically drop all his heroes in. Uh, he popped his RC's ability as well. And uh, the RC has no mobility, so the RC is going to go over to the scatter and that bone. She's probably going to die here in a little bit. The super dragons are still going strong. He pops his king's ability in the center of the base. And uh, the king and the queen are in the center, so the king is going to be full charging in front. Takes to the bomb tower and then he dies. And then we have like th three su uh, super dragons over on the scatter. And their, their damage alone, their splash damage is so lethal. It takes so two buildings. So it took the scatter and that um, 
um, air defense as well. So no more air defense, but there are no more dragons. So the only thing left is the queen. And the queen's ability is going to have to face off on the um, the RC. And this is going to be a wrap for the base. Because I believe he's going to put the RC's ability here through the... His uh, arch queen's ability, sorry. And, oh, he didn't even power his queen's ability. He literally just stunted his queen's ability on the end of this But G, G to Kratos. Not, not very, very good attack. Um, it, it's super risky sometimes because he bought four clones. Now, I mean, you would see like three. Like, he bought four clones, so, so that was one's a big risk, uh, especially on that um, base as well. But I believe that, oh, we have another triple here as well, um, Mayberry. So we have one from Mayberry as well. So let's see what Mayberry did. Ooh, okay, so he has a hybrid. So this base right here is very common, I would say. Um, I know how to hit it, so I have like a way of, of hitting this base as well. So I would use a Houdini, uh, as you say, a Houdini or a Blizzard Lalo. So the point of what I would have done, I would have used um, rocket loons. So use the balloon rocket loons to take out both of these air defenses. And you'll be thinking, how am I going to get into the middle? Because here is now we trapped out, like right on this wall. So I would use a hound and I would invisi this air defense. And I'll tell you why. I would invisi this air defense so the hound will go down to this one. So it would take out these two traps and then I would just basically got the entire core and triple the base. Um, but he uses a hybrid. So I want to see how he does it with um, his hybrid. So he drops the queen in over here, drops the wall breaker in, um, use a wizard to like funnel what's not. So the queen is supposed to go in here and take this out. But you can see he was a little slow on the big dragon because the queen is not going to go in now. So that sucks. Seems like the queen is, yeah, the queen's not going to go in. He drops the um flame flinger to actually redirect the queen so the, the flame flinger is actually going to set the funnel and now the queen is going to be able to go in but the queen can't reach this the point of this wall break right here was the queen to go in so he was a little late on his wall break if uh with his funnel sorry if he was early with his funnel the queen would um have gone into that area he would have probably had to force this freeze super early because he has to use two ridges now and then the headhunter to get through the king and it has to waste another rage, uh, another freeze as well, so that the single doesn't kill the queen. But the fame flinger, I love the fame flinger. The change, the new change of fame flinger is just so OP because um, it the fame flinger alone does a very good job of funneling um, as well. So the queen is gonna go and he has to send his hybrid at the top, so that the queen have to redirect to hopefully take out the um, town hall. But he didn't get a full pull of the CC, so it's Double Dragon and Balloon. The Queen took out the Balloon, but the, the Double Dragons are still alive. He doesn't have a raid so that he can get through the core. So it's like he just has to boot first. He just freeze um, alone. And then he pops the Warden's ability and the Town Hall, um, the damage from the Town Hall will definitely um, going to affect his troops a lot right now. So the Queen is still alive. Queen popped her ability through the Town Hall. Uh, through the single, sorry, the poison bomb goes off. Pop the king's ability as well to get through that. Single is still up. Scatter goes down, but the only thing here is probably going to be the most um expensive thing is going to be single. And the queen is still alive, so it's like, can the queen still get this single? You can see it's a triple, but the queen, well, it the warden is super clutch taking out that single. If the single had more health, I really think it would have been a wrap for him, but he does pull the triple which is always the best thing uh, to see um, as well. It's always good to see, always put on a triple, but a ton of one stars. Ooh, wow, a ton of one stars. Wow, that, that is very, very tragic. A ton, ton of one stars. But that's really it, guys. And um, Those are the two triples I wanted to show you guys because they were fresh in my, fresh as well and fresh to me. So, all fresh to both of us. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. We will be doing this camera grade. I did one of these camera grades uh, way off camera. I did a ton of walls as well. Um, off camera just a shot so I think I'm gonna do another wall and we're getting close to finishing off this let's play because we're just gonna have like gold mines or those I don't want to show you guys gold mines or anything like that the main thing I want to show you guys will be hero upgrades and can upgrades and then we have 16 walls um, as well but I will be doing a can upgrade in 9 days so we're really rocking along uh, the can upgrades as well so in 3 to 1 bam and that is another can upgrade uh, for the books and we're getting close to finishing off this let's play just heroes and just cannons and lab upgrades will go on to suit.
but I will definitely bring you guys some more silver action when I can be opted in um, as well because I opted out uh, for a while because I didn't know how things would go for me but that's really it for me guys hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys next time